Hello, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you all how I plant my methi seeds. This also makes a good show and tell project for the kids, but we usually cook our methi. The show and tell project is where you cut off a top of an eggshell, fill it with sand and put your methi seeds to grow and then print lovely beautiful eyes, nose and a smiling mouth. And when the methi grows, it represents the hair. So today my show and tell is, I've got a quarter cup of methi seed and a litre of water. I'm going to soak up my methi seeds and I let this rest overnight in my water and tomorrow I will show you all how I plant my methi seeds. Welcome back. It's 36 hours of soaking of my methi seed. We didn't get a chance of planting it yesterday because we got busy. But as you can see, it's swelled up even more and it's ready to plant. You don't need a garden to plant methi seeds. Methi seed you can plant in a very small space. This idea was given to me by my eldest brother. So I have a strong tomato box here of which I have two bin bags. I'm going to open up these bin bags. Put it in the bottom. And to make it a, a little stronger, I'm using another bin bag. So you can overlap it in the other way. Once we're done planting, we can still reuse our bin bags. It doesn't go to waste. So, to this box I'm going to add in my potting soil. I will fill the potting soil into this box. This is the level we put in. Methi seed usually don't need much of a soil. So to this potting soil, I'm just going to sprinkle in a little bit of water. I'm going to quickly grab a strainer to strain the seed. Now that I drained off my water, I'm going to use my hands and spread the methi seed into the soil. Try to get it into the entire box. Now that I spread it, my seeds out, I'm just going to top it with a little bit of soil. Just to cover, cover the seeds slightly. I'm just going to water my top soil. I will give this five days, but I'll be watering it every day and taking it to the sunlight so it can have a quick growth and we'll be able to show you all after five to seven days. Hello, welcome back. It has been nine days for my methi, herbs, and the growth was a little slower due to 
bad weather. We had two cold fronts that hit us and some unusual rain. And now my methi is ready. When it has its two leaves, it's ready to be picked. Because of the cold weather, our methi has grew long stems. But if you are growing it in warmer weather, so you'll get short stems. This is how I'll pull my methi, starting from one corner. And it will get pulled with a lot of sand. I watered my methi before I pull because it will be easier to pull out. That's why you can see the dampness of it. So this methi I'll keep aside till I clean up all the black. My stems are a bit long, so I'm going to cut it half the length. In this manner, I keep picking the rest of my methi. Now I'm done picking and cutting. This is all the waste that I've taken out, but it wouldn't go to waste because I will put it into my garden and it will act as a compost. And these all will go back into my garden. This is one dish methi that came from quarter cup of seeds. Now I'm ready to rinse out my methi herbs I will be using several water till it's clean. Once I'm satisfied of it being cleaned, I am going to use boiling water to branch my methi and get rid of the bitterness. Usually, not many people do this step because they prefer it bitter. Now I'm done rinsing off my methi and I'm going to quickly show you how I'm going to make methi with potatoes. We have done methi with eggs and methi with mince and a methi roti. So today we are doing it with potatoes. My rest of the ingredients are half a cup oil, one onion sliced, three tomatoes which I diced, and here I have five cloves of garlic, I peeled and I sliced three green chilies, two dry chilies, but you can add chilies to your taste, and one teaspoon of rough salt, but we will taste as we cook. Yeah, I have three medium potatoes cubed. And now I'm ready to braise. I've got my stove on, medium heat. I'm going to add in my half a cup of oil. To my oil, I'm going to add in my onions. I will allow these onions to just dry out soft. My onions are softened and slightly brown. And to my onions, I'm going to add in my garlic. And then my dry chilies and my green chilies. Now I'm going to add in my methi. This methi is looking like it's a lot 
pat it with shilling. And I'm gonna just lower down my heat. I give this milky a quick mix. And to my methi, I'm just going to place in my potatoes so they can cook together. I'm also going to add in my salt so it will melt in the cooking. I give this a quick mix and allow this to cook for 10 minutes. 15 minutes has passed and as you can see my herbs has melted down completely and the potatoes are almost done. But to this I'm going to add in my tomatoes i give the tomatoes 10 minutes to cook out. 10 minutes has passed and my tomato is stout. This curry is already done. So I'll switch off the stove and I'm ready to serve. Here you go, your methi herbs with some lovely melty moment potatoes that made the methi herbs even better and on the side we also got some hot roti to go with in fact this is a super budget meal because we planted our own methi on a very low cost thank you all for watching and enjoy